Who is thoughts with H? What is thoughts with H? Um, good question. I would say that thoughts with H herself is more of like an anonymous type of person that just has a goal of spreading a message. And I think that in a world that things are so cruel and kind of not nice and mental health is not as normalized to talk about, I my goal is to normalize people to talk about mental health and that's who thoughts with h started off as and someone who would just share post-it notes and sticky notes with a quote of the day that was more inspirational and to spread kindness so i think thoughts with h is someone who just wants to spread a kind message Thoughts with H came to be first on Snapchat, where I actually was working at a dentist's office and it was like bad vibes around. So I felt like I should put up a quote of the day um, and kind of just start with spreading that energy. And I got such great feedback that I started to like put it on my Snapchat story. And eventually my friends would just be like, hey, like really love your quotes, but they like go away within 24 hours. So Instagram was somewhat fairly new, um, our generation, <laughs> sounds old but our generation was like somewhat newish to Instagram as well so I started an Instagram page for it and I decided to keep it anonymous based for the fact that to talk about mental health I wanted to just normalize the fact that these are topics and conversations that are hard to talk about but doesn't necessarily mean that we shouldn't talk about them so that's how Thoughts with H started first on Snapchat then branched out to Instagram. The inspiration behind creating it, I would say, uh, if we stick to the time of social media where everybody was kind of focusing on putting themselves out there and I noticed that that's not the best for mental health and I wanted to just continue and psychology was the field I was going into for college and how can I spread my message and have it still be involved with what I want to do in my future. It's kind of how I thought about it. So. I felt like spreading a message on Instagram anonymously and not putting my face behind it provided a better energy because you didn't have to support me, you were supporting the words. And I wanted people to feel like it was a safe space and a comfortable platform where there was no judgments and just pure kindness. So at the end of the day, I feel like we can't help everybody, but everybody can help somebody. So I think that by spreading a message, sometimes I don't know if it reaches people and sometimes I don't know if people relate to it, but if it's just one person that reads that for that one day and what keeps me going is the fact that people send these kind messages and sometimes I don't realize that people do actually benefit from them and enjoy these quotes so I think to see that they make a difference and make people feel good just influences me to want to branch out and continue it which is why I started my calendars because I think that it's hard throughout the year to maintain inspiration and motivation and especially like post COVID I think that a lot of people went through mental health battles whether they lost people or went through things personally so I think my calendars go for any age any person, they are just meant to just help you be on path for a better day. It supports a good cause, spreads a good message, and that's my goal, is to continue growing that. For the most part, I allow myself to find the backgrounds naturally. And based on that, I try to also not post things that I go through, so not make it personal. So I try to make it like a general thing that I'm posting about. And I just pick a good moment. It just comes from the heart, honestly. It's just like when that post feels right to post. Um, but for the most part, I, I, I like to find clouds and sunsets. Those are my main two backgrounds. Thoughts with H when she started is definitely a different person than who she is now i think that thoughts with h back then was just somebody just trying to spread a kind message and just 
putting some positive words out there. Thoughts with H now is someone who does this all day long where I am a full-time therapist and I try to spread what I preach to not only in my daily life but also with my clients and also if it shows anybody anything it's that even the person behind the quotes can also go through things too so it's it's mental health is something that this field is growing and I just want to normalize the fact that everybody goes through something and if everybody's main goal is to be happy that if I can just help one person along the way, that's really all I need. I would say when you ask about what my goals would be too with Thoughts With Age, it's so much more than what it is just now. I broaden everything I do and whether that's help out more teens with anxiety and depression, whether it's in schools or setting up pop-ups and events where we can just provide people with the tools and skills that they need to deal with anxiety and depression and everyday mental battles that that's my goal so thoughts with h technically started in this exact studio before i even knew it where i was doing the morning news in high school and i was someone who enjoyed being in front of the camera but fast forward that i fell in love with being behind the camera and here comes my page where I found a way to be behind the camera, include photography and motivation, positivity, but yet so much not put the pressure on it being on me. And for that, I found great rewards in, and I think it just made me feel really good to spread a good vibe and make people feel good without it just being me. So am I ready to put who H is out there? No, but I think in this world that it's not a secret and I have to be ready for it. So I'm Helena Aldwehi and I'm Thoughts with H.